everybody at Not Just Crew, yours truly, Simon Costello. Hope you are all having a fantastic time. We are just doing a follow-up show to, uh, well, one of the vaccinator uh, roles, shows that we did with Natalie and Kelly and uh, with Trevor. Uh, a few weeks back, we understand a lot of you have received letters, so this show is for you guys. Here comes the titles. <laughs> Brilliant. So, yeah, as I was saying, this show is for you guys. Uh, we do understand a lot of uh, our members have received letters with all the hard work that they have invested to become a vaccinator. So, without further ado, let's bring in our Trevor. Hello, young man. How are we doing today? <laughs> Not bad, thank you, mate. Look, you know, a lot. Of down, starting to ease off, so it's nice to get out and about. I've, I've had my hair cut after months, uh, been for the gym for the first time. So, yeah, so far, feeling feeling pretty good. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Good to hear you. Right. I do understand uh, and believe that you have received a letter regarding an update for the vaccinators role, Trevor. Is that correct? Yeah, that is correct. And... Uh, it's going to be a real disappointment to a, a lot of people. I was watching some of the uh, posts on our sort of personal sort of va vaccinator group. I mean, we, we put an awful lot of uh, work in this, and I think they're overwhelmed by the uh, number of volunteers. But yet, the news uh, at first sight is isn't that good. Yeah, what what uh, what is the basic news that you did receive? Right. Well, the news is, is in summary, it was thanks, uh, but no thanks. Um, you, you know, it, it's, it seems a bit callous, but I, I, I'm sort of aware that it's going on because um, with the NHS professionals, for some reason, you don't seem to hear anything for a long time. And I do understand that they are probably overwhelmed. They seem to have a lot on their plates uh, at the moment. But in reality, what you're saying is thank you for doing all that training. Uh, and exams and certificates, but um, we're oversubscribed and we don't really need you. However, if you would like to stay on our books, uh, fill in this another uh, short form, which which, uh, which I have done as well. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much about the gist of it. So, I'm... how much training did you actually have to do? Well, it was it was pretty intense. It was actually a lot more um, than I thought because I, I thought a lot of it would be on the job. Uh, training so you literally had to do uh, about 17 quite quite intent uh, intent modules uh, most of which, uh, which sort of crew would have known anyway from their training uh, on, on the airlines uh, but it was it was quite intense then they had to do an exam after each one and then even when it came to the sort of uh, vaccines you had to uh, learn the Pfizer and then the AstraZeneca uh, and, then, and even now you can do the uh, third one if you want. So, yeah, it took up many hours of a uh, wow. evening and a weekend away from the sort of uh, family. So it was pretty intense. So I, I can understand the uh, the mood of the people who have had this uh, sort of letter today. I'm not surprised. I'm, God, if, if, if I was in that situation, I'd be absolutely, I'd be frustrated. I'd, well, I'd be a lot of things, but I'm just going to obviously uh, control my language for the time being and we'll... Uh, I can vent off air, but yeah, I can. I totally understand, Trev. And as you brought it to my attention, like a few days ago, like uh, the news that you had received, there's a lot of other people within our community, within our membership, ten thousand strong now, uh, who've also received those letters. So we were discussing late, uh, late last night about options and possibilities of what they can actually do to. Uh, Obviously, we don't want we don't want people to put all of those like uh, hours that they've invested so dearly into uh, doing the vaccinators role. They clearly have uh, ambition or a desire to get in and do something within the NHS. Hence, 
why we want to highlight what is available to our members who have those uh, uh, career like aspirations to get into the healthcare. Because the, it's, it's clear and obvious, they do. So, with Care Skills Pro, this is the absolute priceless opportunity. It's, it's a moment not to be missed because whatever you're doing, whatever you're doing, if you're working still right now, if you are, you can do this alongside anything that you may be doing. You may be furloughed, so you might have nothing to do. This is a perfect opportunity to do something to get you the qualification, to get you in to band four, which I'm band three, the job that I do. I'm sure you guys already know what I do. I work on the road. I'm a, a clinical care assistant, an ECSW, whatever. I'm band three. That's up to £28,000, right? That's my salary. So band four, it's going to be £30,000 or over. Great, great salary. It's a great starting point. You know, the only way is up after that. This opportunity is absolutely amazing, and it's too good not to take advantage of. It's a free qualification at the end of the day. It's a free, free course. Remember that, guys. What do you think, Trev? Um, I personally think it's an opportunity uh, not to be missed. I mean, you've got to remember, a lot of our uh, members on here and on the vaccinators group fall into two camps. They're either being sort of made redundant by an airline or they've been furloughed and they're waiting to hit. Uh, but with this Care Skills Pros, and they've got to remember, everyone on here has got to remember, we don't advertise one unless they fit our not just crew criteria. And I must admit, um, uh, Care Skills Pro, that they not they exceeded uh, what we wanted because uh, we didn't want our members to be charged for anything. So they came back with a, a program. The training is free and it's a professional qualification at the end. And you already mentioned the uh, salary. Uh, which which is which is not not, not bad, and um, so I'm hoping those who've been disappointed will take up uh, this offer by Care Skills Pro. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's free. I can't get my head around it. You know, it's it's free, yeah. and it's it's going to get you. And 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 what they're offering as well, alongside the qualification, once you've completed it, you can do it as slow as you want you can do it as fast as you want it just depends what time you invest into doing it uh they will help you as well with employment to find you that job that best suits your your, your requirements they will help you find the, the career the job to get into as well so they're with you all the way up until the point where like you're ready to swim on your own and like in in to whatever career in care that you saw desire oh absolutely and 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 what else they're offering it gives you a footstep to uh, go on and uh, and do your nursing degree if, if you want afterwards and a lot of these are so i understand the bursaries are coming back and when you do get that degree uh it gives you the power if you so wish to emigrate to new zealand australia because they're crying out for those skills as well so you know uh even if you don't do it forever it's a perfect stepping stone it, it really is and uh the care industry is recruiting massively at the moment it's also changed uh, it, it used to have a bit of a uh, a bad a bad rep and this is one of the reasons why i really like care skills pro um they've changed they've helped change the uh, industry from within and they are uh so professional, so slick. I mean, again, before they became our sponsors, I mean, Simon, you remember this, we, we had many a conversation uh, with them because, um, you know, our reputation's at risk as well if uh, we sort of um, take anyone as sponsors. So, yeah, that, they were chosen and, and it fitted both ours because it would be brilliant for our members. So whether you're on furlough or being made redundant, as Simon said, you, you, you can do this in your own time um, as, as quick or as slow uh, as you want, obviously, better if you get it done quicker. Yep. So there you go, guys. Right. Everything that you need to know about this qualification, the course, is already up in the group. Right. You can look at the live show that we've done. It's on YouTube. It's within our group. It's with Care Skills Pro. There's also a Q and A little mini session that Stephen and Sue did. They posted that up about a week ago. You can have a look at that if you just put in the search bar, Care Skills Pro. You'll see 
Sue asking Stephen the questions. He was given all the answers. Loads of things that our members had been asking uh, and had, like, you know, questions about, all answered there. But if there's anything you're still not sure of, if you want to drop us a message, you can DM us, you can email us. All our contact details are there. Just if you've got any questions whatsoever, you want to come to me and Trevor, no, no problem. Come to us. We'll guide you and help you and support you also with that, okay? So there you go. This is a chance, and it's too good not to take, okay, if you're interested. This is why we're doing this. We want to help you guys. We want to support you. We want to give you as many options as possible. And uh, you know you can trust us. We'll do, we'll do everything we possibly can for you guys. So that's enough from me. Trevor, have you got anything you want to add before we wrap this up? No, I, what I would say is when I first interviewed Stephen, one of the first things he said to me, he said, everyone thinks the care industry is just about wiping bottoms. And, uh, and I must admit, uh, after he spoke to me, it most certainly isn't <laughs> that the stories he, he, he was telling us and, and the career progression, you know, as I say, Simon, you know, it's, uh, it's a band for us, so they could be hitting £30,000 quite, quite quickly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I think, um, you know, I think they even paid a bit for your training. I remember the, the whole course is free and you get a, qualif a professional qualification at the end. So, yeah, what's not yeah exactly. A career in healthcare, if that's what you're looking for, you're looking for over £30,000 as a salary and you want a free qualification. <laughs> you want a free course. You want a, a company, Care Skills Pro, to help you get in the career that you need. Then this is absolutely where you need to be looking, guys. Okay. So, yeah, actually, listen. sorry, if there's one thing I can yeah. add there, actually. Sorry, sorry to yeah. interrupt, but it's, it's, it's important. It's something else they said to me. Uh, if you do this qualification, uh, as well, I think it helps you skip the first year of your nursing degree because you've already uh, oh, done nice. it, which saves you, which saves you nine thousand pounds anyway in uh, university wow. uh, tuition. So that's just just another reason uh, to go for it. Brilliant, good one, good ad. Right, so listen, that's yeah. that's all it is. We just wanted to do this because we were talking last night and we just wanted to. Just like as we normally do, we just batter a few ideas around and all that. And we thought this was a, a really good idea just to kind of like get our get our point across and just to try and help you guys. So listen, uh, join us as usual. You've got my Saturday summaries coming up on uh, what day is it? What day is that on? An, oh, yes, it's Saturday. And then obviously we've got our Monday, <laughs> Monday night live. Yeah, Saturday is Saturday. So listen, take care, yeah. guys. All the details you need are within our group. What, what are you saying? So, I, can, yeah, can I just mention one thing? <laughs> Monday's show, uh, if you're worried about interviews as well, and it is related, uh, we have got the amazing Paul Tizard uh, coming on again, talking about fear and social fear. And because so many people are terrified to go into interviews. So although he's done a special on interview skills, this is purely about overcoming the fear of going into that uh, interview. We've got a couple of other guests coming up on that very, very same show. Will he be able to cure my fear of your face? Uh, no, because it's it, it's it, my face is starting to be embraced, as I think oh. uh, agree. I know. I I just see these things on camera, but off screen. Mm. Uh, no. <laughs> Did no. you like this? Right. Okay. Right. Okay. No. Let's let's just tie this up now. Listen. Take care, guys. Have a great right. day. See you later. <laughs>